Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. <laughs> we have a recording now, Carson. <laughs> Reflecting on this speech and sitting down to actually write it, I had to laugh to myself because it was called Your CC, Your Story. And I only had two semesters here at CC. But boy, what a story it's been. But before we dive into that, I want to tell you a little bit about how I actually got where I was. Uh, freshman year, 2018, I didn't know what I wanted to do, uh, where really I was going, or how it was going to turn out. All I knew is that my friends are going off to college, so I probably should too. This decision making led me to apply to two colleges and two colleges only, CCU and Biola. Mm -hmm. I ended up leaning towards Biola because that's where my dad had went, and I knew a friend that was going there at the current time, so I thought, oh, I'll at least know one person there. This will be a fantastic experience. That's all I knew when I was heading into Biola, and boy, did it hit me like a truck when I actually got there. <laughs> when I first got there at Biola, I was an undeclared freshman who just had the goal of really like graduating with a degree. That was it, that was my only thought process going in. Uh, I figured it would just look like me going there, taking tests, doing classes, just kind of doing my best to get through. But all sorts of problems arose, <laughs> mental health issues, questioning my faith, and actually lacking a lot of friends there led to an incredibly difficult time while being there on campus. No harm against Biola, it's a fantastic campus, the staff and the people there are amazing. But when I went there, I was in a very much wrong headspace to be going to college at that specific time. Eventually, all those problems that I was dealing with uh, had my grades slip a little bit more, and I went into isolation while I was at Biola, and I left Biola after a year with not exactly the best experience there. I ended up coming home and taking a little bit of a reset time. I had an almost gap year of where I was able to deepen my faith, stay with my family, and really grow my experience before I decided to dip my feet into the water of college once again but I decided to go a little bit slower this time. So instead of going to a big college, I went to a community college in Colorado Springs called Pikes Peak Community College. There, it was a pretty good time. It was during COVID, so we had to do the online classes instead of in person, but I actually found that I really enjoyed that. I was able to sit at home, have a nice setup, share an office with my mom, and then do classes with them, and it was a great time. I was able to learn, grow, uh, and just overall enjoy myself but this was not the end of my college experience. After it helped me kind of grow a little bit and gain confidence, I still had to decide whether or not I wanted to finish out at Pikes Peak Community College or just call it there. I wasn't really sure when I finished the semesters I did at Pikes Peak Community College, but I gave it a little bit of thought and one of my good friends, Nathan Ray, came up to me and we had some really good conversations. He had attended CCU and really enjoyed his time there. I kept hearing all these amazing stories from him about his experience. The classes here, the faith-based community, it sounded pretty amazing. So I thought, what the heck, why not? I'll apply and just see what happens. Worst case scenario, they reject me because of whatever my transcript difficulties and I'll finish out at PBCC. No big deal. And I am so thankful that I made that choice because I did in fact end up getting accepted but even this was a little bit of a process and it's kind of been a godsend that I'm even here today. When I sent my application into CCU, uh, there was not really a response. And then there were a few difficult transcript issues that kept me from coming to CCU in the beginning. <coughs> Finally, about a week and a half before I was actually supposed to be going to CCU, I got an email from applications and we talked with a little bit about it and they told me there were some difficulties surrounding but I'm accepted and I can now do housing which understandably is a little bit difficult to see because now I was coming into CCU with barely any time, not knowing where I was going. But God provided once again. There was one room in my options of places to go at CCU. No joking, opening the page, one room only. So I was like, here we go, I'm committing it, Lord, take the reins, here we go. And it was fantastic. I ended up in a room with roommates that are the best people I could be around. I've been blessed to have them in my life now, and in fact, I'll be rooming with them uh, for my senior year, which is also fantastic. All six of us will be sticking together, and these are good, godly men that have helped me throughout my time here at CCU so much, whether it's been late-night study sessions on different assignments, or going over Bible studies for certain things that we want to talk about in faith, or having theological debates whenever I come back into the room. It's been an amazing experience, and it's been a massive success for me.
while at TCU, the fact that I even made it through two semesters alone has been a huge success and a huge blessing to me because I have a track record of not even making it that far. Mm -hmm. At Biola, I had those two semesters and I was dragged through the dirt. Even at PPCC, I made it through, but my grades weren't exactly perfect. I still struggled with classes and getting passing grades, barely. Here at TCU, though, I felt entirely welcomed in. This has provided a community for me to be in, to have professors that I felt have really invested in my life and have cared about what they've been teaching me, and to have friends overall that have rallied around me and to be able to help me through while I've been at these semesters has been an incredible blessing. And of course, I can't forget my family as well. Throughout all of this time, throughout all of these struggles, from Biola to PPCC, even to now at CCU, my parents have had my back wholly and completely through everything. Whether it's been talking over assignments with me on the phone, or even sometimes driving up, giving me a hug, and taking me out for food for a little bit of a brain break sometimes. They've had my back 110% every single step of the way. But probably the most impactful thing and probably the biggest thing in my life that I've realized throughout my journey of college, especially here at CCU, is how much God is a driving force in my life and how much he supports me through it all, ups and downs. When I was at Biola, all the difficulties that I had really surrounded me and distanced me from the Lord. I almost gave up on my faith. I was so low in the ground. But when I was able to come back home, I was able to recenter myself start from the ground up and come a little bit closer to the Lord. And here at CCU, that's been what the community's been all about. It's strengthened me every step of the way. We have chapels with fantastic speakers that come and talk about topics that I've asked questions about myself. Or I go into classes in every single class. There's some sort of tie-in to the Bible, to God, to lessons that I can learn in my life. Heck, when I took economics last semester, the first thing we talked about was sin and why that relates to scarcity. That's something that I never thought I'd hear in a class, but sure enough, it was there, strengthening my faith and teaching me new things that I had never learned before. The other thing that I learned through this is that I can't rely on my strength. In all the moments throughout my life, I've tried to push through, to go on my own strength, and to try to just make it through college as best I could. But what I've come to realize is that since God is with me through the ups and the downs, I can rely on him and give my life to him and have him guide me through my future, wherever that may take me. As I'm moving into my senior year here at CCU, I'm still not sure what I'm doing with my life. I know that I'm doing a communication degree, and I know that I enjoy the classes that I'm taking, and that in some of them I can really succeed in, but I'm not sure where I'm taking it afterwards. But I do know this for sure. Wherever I'm going, I want God to be my guide in all that I do, and that I'll rely on him and have his strength carry me through to the end. Yeah.